So today we're going to have a look how to prepare a workshop kit from a scratch. And um, to begin with, and first of all, you you need to have your design. So the order I I receive is actually this cover this cover one. So the other camera. Uh, is this one so I'm going to prepare this one for now because I, I am I run a very small studio and I don't have a lot of stock on everything so um, the best way to do it if you have if you're on the budget the best way to do it is not to not to prepare a ton of okay, not a ton not to prepare a lot of stock because one is take too much room and two it's uh, will uh, take too much um uh, in like your budget so for me what I do I have a lot of um, white I prepare my silk and when I'm doing it every time I do an extra or I just do two so this time I have an order for two so I'm going to do um, the same size those paper those workshop those w workshop paper are pre-made I have uh, have them prepared on the freezer paper. Okay. To make sure you have the same design every time. This way. We will need to have the find out the outline design. So this is a workshop book um prof folder I've been uh, organizing. On this I can see my design. Um I can check my design. So this is um is this one I have the number is BNFA14 so I'm going to find my uh, design so which which page is that um, five five six so I found this five the position is five six so here I found five and then six five five, five, five one five two five slash uh six so it's the design is here i take my design out and i place it on my copy board we need to use copy board because um the, the each of each of them are hand made when it we want we want to keep make sure the design is the same as you deliver in your workshop video or in your workshop you gave it in life. Now let's find my gutter. Always need my kitchen towel. Test the nib. Why is it blocked? Okay, different one. Okay, this one's better. Then I found my sock. So I will place it on top of this.
Okay, so now the um, outline finished. S just check very careful before if any part missing. And also check if um, any gaps in the design. If Because if you have any gaps in the design, the color will run out. And any part missing here. We have something missing here. So get over this. Yeah, basically you want to check very careful if your design look exactly like the one on your workshop kit um, or if it's a, a live workshop, you're working with someone for someone's birthday party. I usually, for beginners, I would uh, prepare those outline the night before I'm going to give workshop because the good outline takes a lot of time, very long time to wait to to dry so uh, i will prepare those the night before and just take them to the workshop place um so in that way we can just focus on uh t teach the teach the participants how to color on silk because for beginner the um especially in my workshop some of the big, uh, some of the participants they are uh, they, they they don't really have a steady hand they will maybe shake a little bit or maybe the line will not be so even um it needs like a lot of practice i think this is the most difficult part for beginners so for their first silk painting uh, workshop you don't want to put them off because they are here to learn something and then satisfy with artworks uh, or to enjoying this uh, process so we don't want to disencourage them especially this the color part is very uh, enjoyable and very satisfying so so after this I will put this away to for them to dry uh, here And now I'll move on to prepare the next thing. Next thing. Next, what I need to do um, for the, this workshop kit. Um, if you want to know which which workshop this I'm preparing, I will put the link. Sorry, I keep thinking the camera is on is with the screen, but it's actually lower than the screen. I'm going to put this back so keep myself organized 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 repeat three times when it's important okay I'm just repeating it to myself now put this back so next time I can find them now let's see what next here can I this camera yeah let's see what's next find my content go back to this page uh find this design bnfa14 here bafn14 here now we see this is um okay now i'm going to fold this box This is just a regular A5, C5 box. And I'm, only, I'm not only using it for, um, for, for, for post, for the post, for delivery. And this is actually a part of the tools for my workshop. If you, if you do it, if you deliver your workshop in person, you don't have to ha use a box. You can, you can just cut some cupboard like that because this will be using for doing the workshop, the, the cupboard will be used to 
pin the silk on. So the pink or the, the silk will not uh, curve over or move around when you when the participant pen to them. So now I have my box folded. Now what I need to do this is for 13. This is round. So here I put do your workshop. If this is your workshop kit you post away or if you have your label or your or your logo it's always good to brand your own product so i'm i'm always putting this on this one got a design on it i just print those label from from my uh, uh um <laughs> I just printed at home of uh, uh, in my studio from 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 I just printed in my studio use my uh, office printer it's it's not a very fancy printer it's good enough to for simple work like that and I use uh, it it Adobe Illustrate to design all of my designs but you can also use um workshop or canvas for, for for this type of design they do a really good job um so okay i have this my box ready and what i need in there i also need the color label well i need a scissor now So this color, well, th this color number will go in on the. Um, okay, I'll show you here. This is this is the design for 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 this kit. So now I'm uh, following. The, they have numbers here. See the numbers. Yeah, they have numbers here. So I'm going to prepare those numbers into a small bottle. Into, into small bottles. Let's see how many bottles we need. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's a six color we need. So I will take six bottles out. Six. Leaf. Um, this this bottle is um, ten milliliter milliliter. The size is it, but we don't have to fill it up because uh, the we only need like a little bit. But I will put a little bit. I will put I put extra in there anyway, just in case. Now we have the the bottles right away. So the, these are the the bottle. I'm going to put the number on.
Now I have a, a number code on it. Uh, put this sticker back. Then I don't need I don't need this book anymore. I put it away. So for for replacement, if you don't uh, if you don't know how to print the numbers on the label, you can also use um you can use this. These are the actually the label sticker. They are they are from the price gun. You can just order them. They're very cheap. Um, you can just hand write the number on it and put it on the little bottle. Will do the same job. If you, you don't have that, you don't never use the price uh, the price gun. You can use uh, the masking tape, and then I, I used to just cut masking tape the size, and then write the number on it, and put it on the bottle for my workshops. I will do the same. It, will, um, it does the same job. So now let's get the color. This probably, yeah, after this, everything will be easy. The most difficult thing is do the outline and then uh, a lot of work to put the color in here. So let's find the number. Now, now we put the, the color from the big bottle into the small bottle. Black. We have the color now. Then we pack. So now we're gonna check the list what we have for your for your silk painting kit. What's uh, you what what what's your design and what you're going to put in there? It's you plan those or before you turn it into a product. When you do your silk painting workshop product design, you will make sure you have the design and which pattern you're using and which color you're going to uh, deliver, which color you're going to choose for your design. Um, and then what's in there, what's in the kit and how they're going to, how are they going to use it? So I have in, in my kit, I have one silk painting here. It's still not dry, you see what I mean? They take a very long time to dry, but we, it doesn't matter. We can we can come back later to that. I can prepare some uh, everything else. So I will put a one color test silk sheet. Okay, I will put the color test in there. What is my color test? Time like this, I really appreciate I have uh, all my uh, folder where I have all them ha in handy place. I know where they are. So here is the testing silk. silk. Um, I need two because I'm preparing two pack. Okay, another testing silk. Maybe that one too small. I use this one bigger. I want it to look good, so I will cut the extra bit. Try to make everything the same size. If you're going to post them away. Even though it's a handmade, we still want to have a handmade standard, make it look professional. Okay, 
now I have my stickers here testing silk I have had those sticker testing silk inside of uh, the box in the, the silk panning kit you want uh, the user to know each piece uh, what is what are they so it's the best ways to have the label on it so I have my other sticker I'm going to put this one on the on the box no I'm not putting this one and here I have so I will have my branding I have my 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 big head on it <laughs> I mean the head the sticker not my big real big head my head so I have this one I put it on here inside of the box I say so the user will know who prepared this for them because this is a handmade um, product so you wow well, like it's good to I think it's good to meet the maker no uh, yeah that, that's what I think because one time when I bought something online um, it was handmade and then uh, I received a, a message on the product like a little note from the maker I think that was very sweet so I decided to put my head on this kit, <laughs> kit. so just say welcome to my silk penny workshop and then I prepared this um, a workshop kit for you I hope it will be fun to use enjoy so that's not not very long but uh, enough information in there mm. okay now what else I'm gonna put in there Actually, I think that's it. Music Penny Workshop. Uh, this one, another, again, branding. You want to put it somewhere. I'm gonna put it here. Okay. So this is a package. What does the, the package look like? But this is the inside package because I will use the paper to um, uh, uh, wrap them uh before post so this is uh, what when they open it's gonna be what's inside that's it now i'm using this bag to put all the color in here was on the list again we need to make sure the user the customer get everything they need to follow your workshop handy if anything is missing they probably not be able to finish the the painting so we have this and that. if you don't know what those are you can you can follow you can check my workshop video and then in there I explained everything what's in there now I close this bag. Okay, kitchen tower. So check the list. Kitchen tower. plastic box um, about this size and then it's only for the workshop uh, uh, what's that elements no the workshop tools and uh, it's everything for the workshop and then for my other silk painting tools I uh, I keep it in separate box because then I know everything in this uh, box will be for the workshop so I just it, it's easy to find and it's not confusing I have a dropper. And a pen brush. A 
palette basically with this design um your customer the user only needs one glass of water or one jar of water and then they can take it to paint it anywhere they can do it in the train not in the car maybe the train the uh airplane and um park just it is so easy to use this one okay then the color here now i only need to wait for the my uh, gouda to be dried so let me put this away so again before you close that box check everything greeting card for kit one ready to paint silk oh okay envelope we need the envelope here And for this one, this is a little user guide. Okay. As I mentioned, I have two. I need to prepare two. So I have another one uh, ready to go. So this one, a new one. It's to, to show you uh, what I have in there. Okay, this is the other one. Ready to go. Just double check. So the paper, kitchen towel, palette, pen brush, card, and color by number sheet. Uh, the guide. Okay. Yes. One, two, three, four. The other one. One, two, three, four. Test and silk. So now I'm just going to wait for the gouda to dry and uh, come back and finish the package. Oh, I'm so glad I have done those photos. They make it so much easier. I don't have to look around for things I need. I just open them and know exactly where they are. So just time were absolutely well spended to organize the folders. This one, yeah, I got that. Almost dry. I think five more minutes. Okay, put them there. Is this one dry? Yeah, the first one is also almost dry. Now, this is... Now it's dry. I'm going to pack them in the cart. Put it in a um, greeting card to protect it. Okay. Other one, do the same. In the envelope, sorry. <laughs> so put them in the envelope to protect it. The good outline. No. Like that. So we have one, two, one, two. Now I will do my final check before I uh, close the box. So I have my pen brush, um, palette, testing silk, kitchen towel. And then the colors, the uh, dropper, and the card. So color guide, another the checklist. I get this book, it's fine. Let's see another one. We have a uh, test and silk um, palette, a different kitchen towel, a squeeze dropper, pen brush, 
and paints colors. Do I check the paints in here? Yes, the paints and um, um, silk paints. Okay, now I put this one in here. They're both ready. Close the box. Okay, now they're ready to go. So that's it. That's uh, how I uh, pack my uh, silk panning workshop kit. And, and I hope that's helpful for you. If you are looking for turning your silk panning hobby into a business, if you want more tips and uh, more experience from me, please, please, please leave it in, uh, in the comments. So I will take it uh, yeah leave it leave it down in the comments so i will take it in my mind and uh, share more video with you about how to start your silk panning for business okay um yeah that's it thank you for watching bye